I was sent this pretty five to your bookshelf in exchange for my honest opinion. It's got this really pretty archway to it in this black metal. It's got these br rustic brown wood pieces. They're 24 inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing and a demo to show you exactly how it gets put together. So let's go get started. So this is just a sneak peek as to what we're going to get to at the end, but I just want to show you real quickly what it looks like when it's all done. Here you're going to get all of the pieces and I'm not going to show you every single detail that I put it together, but what I am going to do is just try to show you a couple of key points that I think are going to be relevant. Basically, you're going to go ahead and be, you know, building each side one at a time. And the instructions do a really good job of laying everything out with exactly how you need to put everything together. There were just a couple little things that I found a little bit confusing. And so it took a little bit extra time and hopefully that this will speed up the process for you. So it's just important that when you build these sides that you do have, there's going to be these little like kind of holes right there that you can see on like sort of like little like notches in the side that those are going to be on the same side because the piece look kind of similar when you're putting them together initially and you just don't want to have to take the time to put them together then take them apart and then redo it so as long as you're aware of that to just have all of these little kind of little notches on the same side then in the end they're all going to match up so you can see here how I basically am building the two different sides and now I'm going to start to attach the slats um, to one side and then I'll go ahead and attach the other metal you know slats to the other side and it's just important once again that all of those um, things which I'm going to be pointing out here again are on the same side and so then they're gonna be two on the bottom and then also up here you'll see that they're also two on the top and so that's because in the very end when the whole thing is standing up you're gonna be attaching that crisscross design which is right there and that crisscross design is gonna help give it stability and that has to attach the back so the pieces look very similar um, and they are well marked, but it's just that you just want to make sure that those are turned the right way in the beginning when you attach everything so that you don't have to redo it. Um, and then here you can see how you can see the sides. It's a very open concept. It's actually very pretty in person and I will be able to hold a lot of things on these shelves. So it's because this is kind of a funny angle, it looks a bit more narrow here than it really is. And it really has a good amount of width to it but almost 24 inches wide with a little over 65 inches tall. So it's a really nice size and will definitely be able to hold a lot of items. You can hold it with books or plants or anything you might like. So I hope that this helps you today as you make your decision. Uh, this is something I'm definitely going to be enjoying in my home.